हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट स्टोरेज क्लासेस इन सी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो हियर स्टोरेज क्लासेस आर यूज टू डिटरमाइन द लाइफ टाइम विजिबिलिटी एंड मेमोरी लोकेशन एंड इनिशियल वैल्यू ऑफ ए वेरेबल ओके सो देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ स्टोरेज क्लासेस इन सी दिस फोर टाइप्स आर यूज टू डिफाइन द लाइफ टाइम सो where you you can use the variables and visibility memory location and initial value so what is the initial value for that variables okay so four types of storage classes are automatic external static register these are the four types of storage classes so let's see one by one so here this table shows the स्टोरेज स्पेस डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू स्कोप लाइफ टाइम ओके सो फर्स्ट वन इज ऑटोमेटिक द की वर्ड ऑटो इज यूज टू डिक्लेयर दिस टाइप ऑफ वेरेबल्स ओके द स्टोरेज स्पेस ऑफ ऑटो इज रैम रैंडम एक्सेस मेमोरी सो मेन मेमोरी नेक्स्ट इनिशियल वैल्यू डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू इज गार्बेज वैल्यू सो एनी वैल्यू scope is local so you can use these variable you can access these variable only within the function or block so i already discussed local variables local declarations so the scope of these variable is only within the block or function okay lifetime is within the function or block okay the next type of storage class is extern that is external the keyword extern is used to declare this type of variables so the storage space is ram default value is zero okay initial value for this variable is zero okay so here i am declaring extern int a so this variable initial value is zero okay so whenever the memory is allocated for this variable the initial value zero is stored in those space okay in that space so here scope is global so global declarations so global declaration is nothing but before the main function so that variable can be used anywhere in the program so the lifetime is till the program of a main program may be till the end of the main program may be declared anywhere in the program okay we can use this type of extern variables anywhere in the program throughout the program the next type is static okay so the storage space is uh, storage uh, place is ram and default value initial value is zero and the scope is local so only within the function or block so till the end of the main program retains the value between multiple function calls so we can use this type of uh, static variables by using function calls okay and the last one is the register storage space is place is registers okay so this type of variables are stored in the registers not in the main memory so the default value is garbage value and the scope is local only within the function okay so this uh, diagram is very very important this table is very very important for storage classes okay so let's see one by one the first one is automatic okay so automatic variables are allocated memory automatically at the run time okay so whenever you are declare the automatic variables those variables are allocated at run time automatically the scope of the automatic var automatic variables is limited to the block in which they are declared because the scope is local so that's why the limited to so the scope is limited to only block okay you can use this type of automatic variables in this block only in that function only the automatic variables are initialized to garbage value so the initial value of automatic variables is garbage 
the keyword auto is used to define this type of automatical variables okay so here every local variable is automatic in c by default so if you declare like this int a comma b so here a b are called automatic variables by defaultly okay every local variable is automatic in c by default okay so by default they are termed as automatic variables let's see one example so here example is hash include stdio.h is the header file int main is the main function next i am declaring int a so here we are not specifying auto but defaultly this is auto variable because we are declaring int a inside the main function okay within the block so that's why int a is known as auto okay so the memory is allocated for this variable next char b so b also one automatic variable next float c so float c also one automatic variables so printf percentage d is for int percentage c for char percentage f for float so we are printing a b c variables so printing initial values we are not stored anything in these variables okay so we are not initialized the variables we are not storing values to the memory locations but we are printing the values okay so in those case it will print the default values so what is the default for auto that is garbage value so garbage 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 so three values are printed okay so this is automatic the next one is static okay so static local variables are visible only to the function or block in which they are declared so these are the these are also local variables means only within the function or block the same static variables can be declared many times but can be assigned at only one time so static variables can be initialized many times but we can assign variables values to the variables only at one time only so the initial value for this static variables is zero or otherwise null null means empty nothing okay the visibility of static variable is limited to file in which it has declared okay so whatever the function whatever the block they are declared only in those functions or block they are used okay the keyword static is used for declaring static variables okay let's see the example program so here hash include stdio.h is the header file static char c so static is a keyword which is used to indicate static okay so no need to use for auto because the local variables are uh, by defaultly treated as automatic automatic variables so that's why we are not no need to mention okay next one is static int i into c i mean char c float f next char s of 100 so here 100 memory locations are allocated okay so next main so these variables are declared above the main function so static means c static is local variables but till end of the main program retains values between multiple function calls we can use these variables by using function calls so printf percentage d percentage d and percentage f okay and percentage s so here we are printing c i f and s values okay first one is percentage s or percentage c next one is percentage d next percentage f next percentage s so c i f and s so the initial values of 
सी आई एफ विल बी प्रिंटेड सो इनिशियल वैल्यूज आर जीरो सो फॉर कैर जीरो फॉर इंट जीरो फॉर फ्लोट जीरो सो हियर हंड्रेड मेमरी लोकेशन सो हंड्रेड जीरो आर प्रिंटेड अदरवाइज नल इधर जीरो और नल विल बी प्रिंटेड फॉर स्टैटिक वेरेबल्स ओके द नेक्स्ट वन इज रजिस्टर सो हियर द वेरेबल्स डिफाइंड एज द रजिस्टर इज अलोकेटेड द मेमोरी इन टू द सी पी यू रजिस्टर सो हियर दिस टाइप ऑफ रजिस्टर वैल्यूज आर स्टोर्ड इन द रजिस्टर्स नॉट इन द मेन मेमोरी ओके सो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द साइज ऑफ मेमोरी रिमाइनिंग इन द सी पी यू सो सम वैल्यूज आर स्टोर्ड इन द रजिस्टर्स एंड अदर इन द सी पी यू द एक्सेस टाइम ऑफ द रजिस्टर वेरेबल इज फॉस्टर देन द ऑटोमेटिकल वेरेबल्स ऑटोमेटिक वेरेबल्स बिकॉज दीज आर स्टोर्ड एट सी पी यू रजिस्टर्स ओके सो वेन एवर वी इफ वी वॉन्ट टू एक्सेस द वेरेबल्स फर्स्ट वी सेंड द रिक्वेस्ट टू सी पी यू एंड सी पी यू रिक्वेस्ट द वेरेबल्स एंड देन द वैल्यूज रिटर्न टू सी पी यू एंड सी पी यू रिटर्न टू यूजर बट हियर इन दिस केस सी पी यू रजिस्टर्स आर होल्ड द वैल्यूज सो वी कैन डायरेक्टली एक्सेस द वैल्यूज विदाउट एनी वेटिंग सो दैट्स वाई द एक्सेस टाइम ऑफ रजिस्टर्स वेरेबल इज वेरी फास्ट कंपेरिंग विथ ऑटोमेटिक वेरेबल्स ओके द इनिशियल वैल्यू द डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू फॉर दिस रजिस्टर्स आर जीरो ओके सो रिजिस्टर इज ए की वर्ड यूज फॉर वेरेबल विच शुड बी स्टोर्ड इन द सी पी यू रजिस्टर वी यूज रजिस्टर की वर्ड टू डिक्लेयर रजिस्टर वेरेबल्स ओके सो हियर हैश इंक्लूड एस टी डी ओ डॉट हेच इज अ हेडर फाइव नेक्स्ट रजिस्टर इन ए सो वेरेबल ए इज अलोकेटेड मेमोरी इन सी पी यू रजिस्टर द इनिशियल वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज जीरो सो इफ वी प्रिंट ए वैल्यू द जीरो विल बी प्रिंटेड ओके सो वी आर डिक्लेरिंग ओनली द मेमोरी वी आर नॉट स्टोर्ड एनी थिंग सो वेन वी डिस्प्ले द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस वेरेबल द डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू विल बी प्रिंटेड सो द डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू फॉर रजिस्टर वेरेबल इज जीरो ओके क्लियर द नेक्स्ट वन लास्ट वन इज एक्सटर्नल ओके सो फॉर एक्सटर्नल वेरेबल्स वी यूज एक्सटर्न की वर्ड ओके सो द डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू ऑफ एक्सटर्नल इंटीजर इंटीग्रल टाइप इज जीरो और अदरवाइज इट इज नल इधर जीरो और नल वी कैन ओनली इनिशियलाइज द एक्सटर्नल एक्सटर्न वेरेबल ग्लोबली globally means throughout the program so before the main function if we declare the variables before the main function those variables are known as global variables those global variables can be accessed throughout the program okay so we cannot initialize the external variables within any block or method okay so in external variables can be declared many times but those initialized only at once only once we can initialize the extern variables okay so if variable is declared as extern then the compiler searches for the variable to be initialized somewhere in the program so here extern variables are declared above the main function that is globally so the compiler will searches the value for external wa external variables within the block okay throughout the program which may be external or static if it is not then the compiler will show an error okay so let's see so here hash include stdio.h int main extern int a okay printf so whenever you declare memory is allocated for this variable print f a value so a value is not initialized so that's why it print an error okay so if you declare these in this so above the main function it will display either zero or null okay so if you declare within the main function okay so we are not initialize 
we are not initializing any value to it then it will print an error undefined reference to a so id return to return one exit status so this is the error it will displayed okay so there are four types of storage classes this topic is very very important those are automatic external static register so for automatic variables we use auto for external we use extern keyword for static static for register register so these are the storage classes so where the memory uh, where the value variables can be stored and these are the default values okay if you if you are not initialized the variables then it will print default values those are known as initial values okay next scope where you can uh, declare the variables either local or global local declarations or global declarations so what is the lifetime of variables okay so some have within the function or throughout the program anywhere in the program so i hope it is clear if you have any doubts regarding to this video please comment me in the comment section for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you